What if the stress you're feeling could be your greatest strength? Join me as I take on the challenge of turning my stress into power using ancient Stoic principles for an entire week. Let's see if this philosophy can truly transform the way we handle life's toughest moments. Stress, we all know it, we all feel it. It's that gnawing sensation that creeps up on us during the most inconvenient times. It's the weight on our shoulders that seems to grow heavier with each passing day. It's the deadlines that loom over us like dark clouds, the traffic that tests our patience, the arguments that leave us drained, and the uncertainties that make our hearts race and our minds spin. We live in a world where stress is almost a constant companion. But what if I told you there's a way to turn that stress into strength? Imagine facing those same challenges with a sense of calm and resilience. Imagine transforming the chaos into clarity, the pressure into power. An ancient philosophy, Stoicism, offers a pathway to not just manage stress, but to thrive in its presence. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. It encourages us to cultivate inner peace and to find strength in adversity. For one week I embarked on a journey to apply Stoic principles to my own life, and the results were transformative. I started each day with a moment of reflection, journaling my thoughts and setting intentions. I practiced mindfulness, staying present in the moment and not letting my mind wander to worries about the future or regrets about the past. Join me as we explore the power of Stoicism to transform stress into strength. Together we'll delve into the teachings of ancient philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and discover practical ways to apply their wisdom to our modern lives. We'll learn how to embrace challenges, find peace in the midst of chaos and ultimately turn stress into a source of strength and growth. We live in a world obsessed with speed, efficiency and achievement. It's no wonder stress has become a chronic condition for so many. We're bombarded with information, deadlines and demands, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and powerless. But what if the key to conquering stress lies not in eliminating it, but in changing our relationship with it? This is where Stoicism comes in, Developed by philosophers in ancient Greece and Rome, Stoicism offers a set of practical tools and principles for navigating life's challenges with resilience and grace. My Stoic challenge began on a Monday morning, already running late. The alarm had failed to go off, and I was scrambling to get ready. I could feel the pressure mounting as I hurriedly dressed and grabbed my things. The day had barely started, and I was already feeling overwhelmed. As I sat in gridlock traffic, frustration mounted. The cars were barely moving and every minute felt like an eternity. I glanced at the clock on the dashboard, watching the seconds tick by, each one a reminder of how late I was going to be. The honking of horns and the impatience of other drivers only added to my stress. I felt my heart rate increase, my grip tighten on the steering wheel. My mind raced with thoughts of the consequences of being late. Would I miss an important meeting? Would my boss be angry? The more I thought about it, the more anxious I became. It felt like the world was closing in on me and there was nothing I could do to change it. This was my first opportunity to put Stoicism into practice. I had been reading about Stoic philosophy and its teachings on how to handle life's challenges with grace and composure. Now, I had a real life scenario to test these principles. I remembered the words of Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. I took a deep breath and reminded myself of the first Stoic principle, control. I couldn't control the traffic, but I could control my reaction to it. I focused on my breathing, trying to calm my racing heart and clear my mind of negative thoughts. I repeated to myself that getting upset wouldn't change the situation. It would only make it worse. We can't always control external events, but we can control our reactions to them. This was a fundamental tenet of stoicism, and it was up to me to embody it. I thought about the bigger picture and how this moment of frustration was just a small blip in the grand scheme of things. I reminded myself that I had the power to choose my response. I couldn't magically teleport my car out of traffic, but I could choose how I responded to the situation. Instead of letting anger and frustration take over, I decided to use this time to practice patience and mindfulness. I turned on some calming music, adjusted my posture, and allowed myself to relax. By the time the traffic started moving again, I felt more in control and ready to face the day with a stoic mindset. Tuesday brought a fresh set of challenges at work. A demanding project threatened to derail my entire week. 
My initial reaction was panic and overwhelm. But then I remembered the stoic principle of perspective. I stepped back and asked myself, is this situation truly catastrophic or is it simply inconvenient? By reframing my perspective, I was able to approach the task with a calmer and more focused mindset. Day 3, Relationship Friction and the Gratitude Shift. Today, we delve into the complexities of human connections and how they can sometimes lead to friction. But more importantly, we explore how a simple shift in perspective can transform these moments of tension into opportunities for growth and deeper understanding. Relationships are often a breeding ground for stress, and Wednesday tested mine. It started with a minor disagreement that quickly escalated into a full-blown argument. The tension was palpable, and it felt like every word exchanged was a step further into a chasm of misunderstanding. A disagreement with a loved one left me feeling hurt and resentful. The words spoken in anger echoed in my mind, and I found myself replaying the conversation over and over, each time feeling more justified in my hurt and anger. It was a cycle that seemed impossible to break. It would have been easy to dwell on the negative emotions, but I decided to apply the stoic principle of gratitude. I took a moment to step back and reflect. Instead of letting the negative emotions consume me, I chose to focus on the positive aspects of the relationship. I thought about the good times, the shared laughter, and the support we had given each other over the years. Instead of focusing on what was wrong, I shifted my attention to what I appreciated about the relationship. I remembered the times when we had been there for each other, the moments of joy and connection that had defined our bond. This shift in focus didn't erase the hurt, but it put it into perspective. It reminded me that the relationship was worth more than the sum of its conflicts. This simple shift in perspective helped me to approach the situation with more empathy and understanding. I realized that the argument was just a small part of a much larger picture. By focusing on gratitude, I was able to see the situation from a different angle. I approached my loved one with a renewed sense of compassion, ready to listen and understand, rather than to defend and argue. This change in attitude opened the door to a heartfelt conversation, where we both expressed our feelings and worked towards a resolution. The gratitude shift not only helped to mend the rift, but also strengthened our relationship, reminding us of the importance of empathy and understanding in maintaining a healthy connection. Day 4. Unexpected setbacks and embracing adversity. Life rarely goes according to plan, and Thursday threw me a curveball. A project I had poured my heart into was met with unexpected criticism. My initial reaction was disappointment and self-doubt. But then I remembered the stoic principle of adversity. Obstacles and setbacks are not roadblocks, but opportunities for growth and learning. I chose to view the criticism as constructive feedback and an opportunity to improve my work. Day 5. The Calm in the Chaos by Friday, I could feel a shift taking place within me. The daily stresses that had once triggered anxiety and frustration were now met with a sense of calm and composure. I was no longer at the mercy of my emotions. I was in the driver's seat. The stoic principles, once abstract concepts, had become practical tools for navigating the ups and downs of life. Day 6. Reflecting on Resilience as I reflected on the week's experiences, I was amazed by the transformative power of Stoicism. By consciously applying the principles of control, perspective, gratitude and adversity, I had developed a new relationship with stress. Challenges were no longer threats to be avoided, but opportunities for growth and learning. Challenges were no longer threats to be avoided, but opportunities for growth and learning. Day 7 a new relationship with stress. By the end of the week, I had developed a new understanding of stress. Stress is not inherently bad. It's our perception of and reaction to stress that determines its impact on our lives. Stoicism empowers us to choose our responses to find opportunity in adversity and to cultivate a mindset of resilience and inner peace. Your stoic journey starts now. My week-long stoic challenge was just the beginning of a lifelong journey. I encourage you to explore the wisdom of stoicism and discover how its principles can empower you to transform stress into strength. Remember, you have the power to choose your response to any situation. Choose strength. Choose resilience. Choose stoicism. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to like this video and drop a comment below sharing how you handle stress in your life.
Let's build a community of resilience and strength together. Thanks for watching and never forget, stress is inevitable, but how you respond to it is a choice. Choose strength.